What I want to teach is how to calculate how much chlorine you're using every day, sodium hypochlorite. The reason we want to know is how many liters are you using? Are you using more than you would normally use at this time of year compared to other years? Are you using more because the demand has gone up? Or are you using more because the strength of your sodium hypochlorite has decreased? So I'm going to show you different ways on how you can measure this tank to figure out how much liters of chlorine you use every day. So I want you to use your imagination first of all. This is not a, a day tank that you would use at your water treatment plant. This is just a five gallon pail. Just imagine that it is a tank and you have sodium hypochlorite in it. The level of the sodium hypochlorite right now is at this level and you would mark it down on the tape. That's how some operators would mark it. The next day as the sodium hypochlorite is used, you would mark it on the next line and measure the difference between the two lines. Some day tanks have liters on the side of the tank and you just sort of guess is it between one and two liters every day and you mark it down. Or there's another way. Uh, someone's made one of these. It's just a plastic pipe. It doesn't have to be translucent that you can see right through it. Any pipe will do. I just have a plastic bottle inside here, plastic, um, and I put a dowel through it and use some tape to hold it in place. And this will float. It just has to have air in it. I put a cap on it. This is just to keep the dowel uh, straight up and down. So when I place, and I've drilled some holes in this pipe to allow the liquid to equalize in the, in the pipe. And now this floats. There's a measurement here. I take this or a measuring tape. Make sure that you don't leave the, the metal or me measuring tape inside the same room because it will rust over time. So I measure it to the top of this to get the distance and the distance here is 42 centimeters. And I would write that down, 42 centimeters. The next day I would, we would use some chlorine this level will come down because the level of the chlorine, sodium hypochlorite, has dropped. Then I'll measure the distance and the difference. Record the difference. So say it uh, was about, the next one is 39 centimeters. So it's gone down 30 centimeters or 30 millimeters. And I record that. Every day I would do that and it will help me determine the amount of sodium hypochlorite I've used in a day. So now I want to figure out how much liters I used. So I need to know the area of this tank and then I'll multiply it by the distance or the amount used in distance. That will give me the area times height to figure out the volume. So to measure the diameter of this tank Sometimes you can get lucky and just reach across the top and get the right diameter. Or use your tape measure, say this is off to the side, and you can go right across your tank and measure the distance. Sometimes you have things on top of the tank, like the pump, or it's not flat, so it's hard to measure right across. Another way of doing it would be you can wrap your tape measure around it like this, around your day tank, to find out what the, the circumference is, and you divide that by pi, 3.14. That will give you the diameter. Or you can use rope or, or string and wrap it around your day tank, and then have your tape measure out, locked in place, and then measure the length divided by pi and that will give you your diameter across. Okay, so I measured a day tank. 
I measured across, it was 30 inches. So I want to convert that into centimeters. That equals 76.2 centimeters. Which equals 762 millimeters, which equals 0.762 meters. So that is the diameter. Now we're going to calculate the area of this diameter. There's two, three ways of doing it. You can go uh, pi r squared diameter squared times pi divided by 4. And my favorite is diameter squared, so diameter times diameter times 0.785, which is pi, 3.14, divided by 4 equals 0.785. So I don't have to do this half of this and half of that to figure it out. So the diameter is 0.7 six two times point seven six two times point seven eight five equals in meters squared. These are all meters and my calculator point seven six two times point seven six two times point seven eight five equals 0.4558 meters squared and that's the area. So that's not going to change. The only thing we need to know now is how much chlorine we used in, the, in a day. So I did a quick calculation and it was, we used 43 millimeters. And that in meters, you divide by a thousand, that is 0 0.43 meters. 0 0.043 meters. I take this area, 4558 five, multiplied by 0 0.43. This will give me the answer in meters cubed. And I want to convert the meters cubed to liters. There's 1,000 liters in a meter cubed. So whatever answer I get, multiply it by 1,000 will give me the answer in liters. So I take this number here, 0.4558 multiplied by 0.043 equals 0. 195, I'm going to multiply that by 1,000 and it equals 19.6 liters. So now I know how many liters. Once I know how many liters I use, I can do the calculation on the board. So let me do that over there. So we've used 19.6 liters according to our calculation. The flow was 800 cubic meters in the day. So I want to calculate the dosage based on those two numbers. There's two ways I know how to do it. C1 times V1 equals C2 times V2. And another way of doing it is dosage equals liters used per day times active ingredient, which is the percentage of your sodium hypochlorite, but is expressed as a decimal, times specific gravity, times 1,000, and divided by the flow in meters cubed per day. So let's put in some numbers here. Liters per day was 19.6 times the active ingredient. When you get chlorine, sodium hypochlorite, anywhere from 10 to 15 percent. So let's round it off because it's going to lose some strength 
will take 10.5 is what it's usually calculated in this formula. 10.5 percent as a decimal is 105. Decimal 105 times the specific gravity. Specific gravity of some hyperchlorite anywhere from 1.15 to 1.2. So we'll, we'll take 1.18 as the specific gravity multiplied by 1,000. And we're going to divide that by the flow of 800 meters cubed per day. Take my calculator. 19.6 times 0 0.105, which is the active ingredient as a decimal, times 1.18, which is a specific gravity, times 1,000, which is the conversion of liters from meters cubed, divided by 800 meters cubed per day equals a dosage of 3.04, round it off, milligrams per liter. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is the concentration. 12% is your concentration times the volume. So we used 19.6 19 liters equals, we don't know what the dosage is concentration, times the volume, 800 meters cubed. Multiply that by 1,000 gives you the liters. So just add three zeros. That's liters. This 12% is in, uh, we need to put it in as milligrams per liter. In milligrams per liter, there's one million milligrams in a liter. There's a thousand milligrams in a gram and there's a thousand grams in a kilogram and a kilogram, uh, a liter weighs one kilogram. So there's one million milligrams in a liter or PPM, parts per million. There's one million parts in a million, which is a hundred percent. One percent of a million, if you multiply one percent by uh, a million times one percent, you will get 10,000. So whatever strength you have, you multiply it by 10,000. So the 120, uh, sorry, the 12 percent is 120,000 milligrams per liter. Now let's do some calculations. We need to know what this number is. So I'm going to do a line, divide this side by 800,000 and divide this by 800,000 liters. This side will cross out. Multiply this, divide by that. 120,000 times 19.6 divided by 800,000 equals 2.94. Milligrams per liter. It's fairly close, whatever one you prefer. I prefer this one, it's very easy. All I do is take the liters used times the 120 divided by the flow in meters cubed per day. All I have to do is cross off these three zeros, cross off these three zeros, and it's liters used times 120 divided by what is your flow in meters cubed per day. I don't have to add all these zeros. So 120 times that divided by 800,000 gives me the dosage. Okay, so I'm going to be using the same numbers that I did. We calculated, we recorded the flow of 800 cubic meters a day. We measured the distance from one day to the other and it was 43 millimeters. So which equals 0 0.043 meters. The liters with the calculation, how we did the calculation on this board, gave us 19.6 liters. And when I do the calculation on the other board was uh, 2.94 in the dosage. 
Now what I'm doing here is in the background, you may not see it, when you click on this, there's a formula. B2, which is this square here where it says 43, divided by a thousand, takes the millimeters, divides it by a thousand, and gives it to me in 0 0.043 uh, meters. The liters is another formula. The area of the tank, the top of the tank, the diameter, we figured out the area was 0.4558. I'm going to multiply it by the meters, 0.043, and multiply that by a, a thousand to give me the answer in liters. The dosage is a formula of, we sh I showed you on the board that 120, after you take away the zeros from the liters, and we, we got to the constant of 120, and I'm going to multiply it by the liters, divide it by the flow of meters cubed to give me the answer of 2.94. So you see the formula is up on top. Now, if I look at that formula, there's a formula here, right here, there's a formula. I take that little square at the bottom, and now I have a, you see the little T there? Left click and drag it down the screen, go as far as you want, then move back up to where we were. There's a formula here. Put your cursor there, drag it all the way down. You can do that as for other ones too. You can put the date there as well. You should have a date on the side. And then the dosage, click and drag. Now, the next time, the next day, the next day, let me insert. Insert a row here today's date. So this was the date of 9-9-21. So tomorrow's date, we're going to measure it. The flow tomorrow, or say it is 850 meters cubed for the day and I measured it and I used 46 millimeters. Changes it to 43 uh, meters. The liters was 20.97 and my dosage is 0.296. So it's familiar. Now, the next day, say I have 850 50, but the liters I used um, was 55. Now the dosage has gone up. So that it could indicate that your demand has gone up. What if I have 850 and my, it went down to 33? My dosage has gone down. I've tried to increase it, but now the, the level didn't go down as much. You could have a plugged injector and it's going back, recycling back into the tank. You think you're using more, you're using less. So by using an, an Excel spreadsheet, it makes your life much easier. All you have to do is do your rounds in the morning. When you go around, you're recording your flow for the day. You, re, you do a measurement of your day tank. Write down how many millimeters that was, the difference from the day before and today and enter those two numbers and it automatically will calculate your dosage.